What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, make sure to check out the links in the top comment, which I'll pin as a link to our podcast called Michael on the Mic, a link to our private investing community, and a link to getting four free stocks when you download the Webull investing app. Anyways, today we're gonna to talk about a stock that you guys have been asking a lot about. You wanted me to do an update on it, so today we're gonna to go over Star Peak Energy Transition Corp, stock ticker symbol STPK. They're set to merge with a company called STEM within the next month or so, in the first half of 2021, and this stock has taken a beating over the last couple of weeks when we've seen all of these high growth stocks really tank. At one point, this stock hit, I believe, 51, maybe $52 a share. Now it is already down 50%. It's at $24.98 per share. It's been fluctuating a lot in day-to-day -day trading. So at some points during the day, even today, it was down about to $23.50. Other points, it was up to $28. And it is really very, very volatile right now. When you're seeing the NASDAQ go up, this stock goes up even more. The NASDAQ is down, this stock drops even more. And today we're going to go over exactly what I think about it moving forward after this big drop off, because it is one of the big positions in our public portfolio. So right now, um, I see Star Peak Energy Transition Corp and many analysts see it as being extremely undervalued. Their uh, green energy is the hot space to be in and STPK, their merger with STEM, they have a proprietary platform that could be a game changer for utilities, large corporations and the entire energy grid. Really, if you think there's going to be sustainable energy, solar panels, battery powered, like if you think all of that is going to be around five years from now, STPK and their merger with STEM is going to be one of the major players. Currently, STEM is the leading company in this space. They have majority of the market share in California, and they already are doing more business than any other company in this industry. It's just that it's a very young, very early industry, and it's set to grow very rapidly over the next couple of years. I've gone over this previously, but Citron Research has come out also. They analyzed the stock. They spoke about where they see it going. Their price target on it right now is at $100 per share. So you can't just go based off of what these price targets say, but they have some pretty good research, pretty good insight about the company. And a lot of people have been getting very worried about it because it has dropped so much over the last couple of weeks. So anyways, according to Citron Research, they talk about, and according to STEM's investors report, they explain how the global energy storage market represents a $1.2 trillion opportunity and is expected to increase 25x by 2030. That is a massive, massive potential. The total addressable market is $1.2 trillion. There's not many industries that have that large of a total addressable market, and that is just a massive opportunity that is untapped right now. And without smart storage, the build of renewable generation is not possible. Since 2019, 90% of grid interconnection requests have been for renewables and storage. California has already mandated that all new vehicles be carbon free by 2020, 2035 and its entire power grid carbon free by 2045. So the only way they're gonna be able to do this is with energy storage systems and utilizing STEM's proprietary technology called Athena. Athena is AI technology that helps manage when the system should be using grid power, when it should use battery storage power, when it should use um, solar panel. It just regulates and helps determine which it should use, which the system should use at any given time. So right now, if you're looking at the top commercial energy storage installers in California, as the most recent data we have, STEM was number one by far with 26,991 kilowatts and they had 106 commercial installations. That is nearly eight, nine times what that is nearly eight times the total number of installations of their second largest competitor and is about three times as much as the total energy for their second largest competitor. So they're so much further ahead than any other company in the space right now. The one thing that I like about them is that their Athena technology currently is is in is currently in over 
They have over 900 patents. They also are in a number of different industries right now. And with that being said, they have 16 million hours plus that have been run on the system. The more time they have run on the system, the better and smarter the Athena technology gets. So the more customers they get, the more time that is under the system, then the better and smarter and the larger competitive advantage that they will have over their competitors. Sorry, I said 900, I meant to say 900 plus sites operating or contracted and 20 plus patents. I think I said it otherwise a couple minutes ago. But anyways, so as as they get more and more time, it's gonna create a larger moat between them and their competitors. And while the stock has dropped significantly over the last couple of weeks, I think it is still a great long-term invest in, investment. Remember, these are high risk, high reward stocks. If you think that there's gonna be more renewable energy, you think there's gonna be solar panels, battery storage in the future, they're gonna need this technology. It, Stock might go through a lot of ups and downs. It will between now and five years, 10 years from now. But if you're looking five or 10 years down the road, this stock is easily going to 10X, easily going to 10X. Because right now it's a $3 billion market cap company. If you're looking at Enphase Energy or Solar Edge, they generate about a billion dollars in revenue and they have $20 billion market caps. Um, STEM, on the other hand, they're projecting to have $1 billion in revenue in the next five years. So five years from now, they're project projecting $944 million. And if you're just looking in terms of valuation of what their revenue is versus the total valuation, if they're able to do that, well, then compared to Enphase and Solar Edge, they should be about a $20 billion market cap company as well. So right now, only being at $3 billion market cap company, as long as they're able to deliver on their projections, well, then they should definitely be a $20, $30 billion company within the next five years, which represents at least a 7x return on your money. Obviously, after the merger, there's going to be a lot of fluctuations in the price. It's come down 50% just a couple weeks ago, and it easily could go right back up to where it is, or it could drop another 20%. We just have to wait and see what happens. But if you're looking at this long term, you're looking at an energy storage play, this company is the leader in the space. They have major contracts right now with Walmart, Amazon, Apple. They have contracts with major corporations. They're signing deals with more cities in Massachusetts, more cities around around the US, and I personally really like the growth prospects of this company moving forward, but let me know what you guys think about it. I know it's taken a really big hit, um, but let me know if you guys still like the company, if you're still invested, where you see the stock price going, and what you think about their current numbers and projections. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to get your four free stocks, each valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.